So this is an ampere time lithium iron phosphate battery. And recently we did a teardown and it had a surprisingly good build quality, especially for the price. I also did a cycle test with my battery analyzer and it pulled more than the rated capacity, which does not happen that often at this price point. So this is a pretty good battery, but it has a huge fault point. This temperature sensor is only for high temps and not for low temp charging protection. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use a super cheap battery and add your own low temp charging protection with the Victron Energy Solar Charge Controller. Because if you combine this with their smart battery sense, you can set up your own low temp charging protection on any battery that you please. And this battery is so cheap and the build quality is so good that I think this will be a really good deal. You guys can buy tons of these on Amazon very quickly and easily and you don't have to build it yourself right now if you build your own battery it takes like two to three months for those cells to arrive and other cheap comparable batteries have been out of stock like the sok battery the only downside is the cost of this solar charge controller is pretty excessive but it's a victron and it does work perfectly every time and you will still save money if you were to save hundreds of dollars by using ampere time batteries by the way this is not sponsored by ampere time i've never talked to them but they have a good battery pack so first we're going to connect this battery to the solar charge controller. Now everything's connected so we have a negative and a positive going from the solar charge controller to the main battery terminals and then the smart battery sense has a negative and a positive and you connect it directly to the battery. So first we need a power supply to mimic a solar panel. So now everything's connected but it's not charging and that's because the charge profile for this is set up for another battery. So we're going to log in on the app to the smart solar solar charge controller. The absorption voltage is 12.6 and the flow is 12.1 so we need to change this. So we're going to select lithium iron phosphate as the charge profile. And now it should charge. There we go. We've got 10 amps coming in now. And at the bottom of the charge profile parameter page, you will have low temperature cutoff and you want to set it to five degrees Celsius. You could do a little bit lower, but I like to be pretty conservative with this figure. So let's go back and under the settings page, press VE smart networking and then create network. I'm going to call it test. Nice. So let's exit out of this and log into the smart battery sense. Oh, we have to update the firmware, darn it. So it shows the battery voltage and the temperature of the battery through this smart battery sense. So we need to connect it to the network that is being used on this solar charge controller. So now we need to go to settings and then VE smart networking and we can connect it to a different network. Right now it's connected on my old network, but now let's join existing, press test, and then press OK. And now it's connected and it states that it's transmitting battery voltage and temperature sensing to the smart solar solar charge controller. So now that these are on the same network and we set the low temp charging protection threshold, if I stick this in icy cold water, it should disable charging. So let's test it out. Here's some cold water and we're at 0.5 degrees Celsius. We're just going to dunk this in there because this is potted. This is waterproof. And it should be able to handle water if you're mounting it on battery cells. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. And the temperature is dropping. It took about a minute. Oh, there we go. Right when it hit five degrees Celsius, the current dropped to zero. So it actually works. All right, let's warm this thing up and see if it can start charging again. And check it out. It's charging right when it went above five degrees Celsius. It started charging. So it works, very simple guys. And that's all you have to do. You can use some really cheap batteries with this setup. For some reason, the cheap batteries, you would think that they would spend a 50 cents more and program the BMS to have low temp charging protection. But for some reason, this is very common with cheaper batteries. On the older Ruxus, they had no low temp charging protection and those were pretty cheap too. So I still do not understand why they would not spend the money to add that feature that is crucial for this chemistry. But yeah, now you can do it on your own. I think the only downside is the cost of these solar charge controllers is pretty darn high but you will save literally thousands of dollars if you are building a large battery bank with Ampere Time packs. And this is beginner friendly. I know there's a lot of wires, but you just have a positive and a negative and a positive and a negative. If you can connect these two things to your battery and then set it up on your phone, that's all you need to do. Charge profile five degrees Celsius and then connect them on the network and that's it. 
So just a quick video on how you guys can save some money and let me know if you have any comments below or if there's any confusion at all. And that's it. I will talk to you later. Bye.